I went to Costco the other day and I see these um, uh, solar power lights and I decided to pick one up. These are a thousand lumens with a hundred LED lights and um, they, if they're truly a thousand lumens they should be pretty bright. But I wanted some lights above the garage door and uh, I looked on Amazon and these things were going for about 39 bucks. So Costco had them $10 cheaper at $29. Initially I bought one and uh, they worked so well that I bought another one and the other one is going on uh, the play structure of my daughter's uh, playhouse. So let's see what's in them. So I already opened and installed one already, but uh, this is a brand new one that I haven't opened yet. So in the box are, are the instructions. The solar light. It's a pretty hefty thing, pretty big, bigger than I expected. And it has these, uh, I think they're called Creed LEDs with the, uh, the yellow substrate in them. There's the motion detector module. This is where you put the batteries in. There's a there's a hundred LEDs. You have the uh, the wires and package of hardware, which includes um, looks like six screws and uh, and six inserts. This is the solar panel. Solar panel. It's like these polymorphous solar panels. And that's it. So basically to basically to install this you'd have to loosen this up take out the thumb screws take out the bracket and screw the bracket onto um, in my case the garage and then then you reinstall this onto the bracket but before you install before you install the LED light you should charge the battery up so you got yourself one two three four five rechargeable batteries. So what I would do initially is to charge them. Uh, in the manual it says to turn off the fixture and let it charge for two days. But if you have a battery charger, like the, uh, like the Sanyo uh, chargers that you could get at Costco, or the LaCrosse, these would actually work. So what, what I would do, oh actually look, look at this, it's on. I guess I accidentally turned it on. 
So there is actually a charge on it. Huh. Didn't realize I turned it on. But um, what I would do is take the batteries out. And just charge them. It'll probably take about three to six hours to charge. And luckily since I have two of them, I can just uh, charge them all at once. Once they're charged, they're ready to go. I just finished charging these batteries and uh, they took an hour, between an hour and hour and a half to charge. So they were, uh, they actually seemed like they had a, a good charge on them. All right, now the solar light is ready to be installed. So the first thing you have to do, as I mentioned earlier, is to install this bracket to the building that you want to secure it to. Let me go through the, the, the function of these switches. This is a three position switch. On is to the left or towards the center of the fixture. Off is in the middle and auto is to the right. You actually want to keep it in auto mode um, after you install it, but leave it off for now. And if you're, if you're charging with the solar panels, uh, you leave it in the off position and let it charge for three days. After three days, you turn it to auto. And um, let's go through the, the trim switches here. Uh, on the left is the sensor trim. In the middle is the time trim and to the right is the Lux trim. Um, to increase, for example, the, the sensor sensitivity, uh, you would turn it clockwise. To decrease the sensitivity, you turn it counterclockwise. Um, the time trim right here is, uh, it actually sets the duration of the light when it turns on. To increase the duration when the light is on, you turn it clockwise, and to decrease it, you turn it counterclockwise. And the last trim switch is the Lux switch. The Lux trim switch has um, an icon of a sun to the left, and it looks like the moon to the right. So if you want to have uh, this fixture on all the time, you turn it counterclockwise so that it will um, point to the sun. And if you turn it clockwise, it will only turn on at night. And anywhere in between, you hook up the solar panel to the light fixture. You basically plug this jack underneath here. Basically that's it. Face this towards the sun. Leave this in the off position. If you don't have the battery charge, uh, let it charge for three days and then turn it to auto. If you already charged the battery, uh, install it, connect the solar panel to the light fixture and, it, and turn it to auto. And there you have it. So basically that's it. Cook up the light fixture to the bracket. You reinstall the bracket or put the light between the bracket and um, tighten up the thumb screw on both sides. There you go. That's basically all there is to this light. It's very simple to install. You can adjust the motion detector sensor head uh, pointed to where you want it to detect the um, uh, motion. Um, and that's it. It's, it's worth it for 29 bucks. It's actually a pretty good deal.